Hello everyone, this is Eagle Owl. I'm going to do a video about uh, workout motivation and give people a better uh, concept of the state of mind that they should have. Um, you, you'll be able to tell by the title. Um, one of the main things to understand about workout motivation is think about the long term. Uh, think about in two years from now, in five years from now, ten years from now. Um, like um, the first year that you start working out, um, that's when you see the most amount of gains in a single year is that first year. And when you first start to see a difference, you um, it really motivates you and it makes you even want to go in that much more. Um, so like the first year you're working out, it's really easy to um, be motivated every time you go and almost like never miss a session and you're just... You, you can literally be like on level 10 motivation and um, but the thing is like if you've been lifting for a while um, if you just be aware and that this is the same with everyone you cannot maintain a level 10 motivation every single day of every year you cannot maintain a level 10 motivation every single time you lift okay there's going to be days when you go into lift and um, you're just trying to make yourself get through that day the best you can, but mentally you're not feeling it. There's going to be times when you will skip a workout and, and maybe get the workout in a day or two later than normal. Uh, there's going to be times when you take a week or a couple weeks off because your mind just ain't there. There's going to be times when you, you may take a few months off, and if you've been doing this for a long time, like... Um, I've been basically lifting my entire adult life. Um, and if you've been doing it that long, you will occasionally have a period of like a year where you don't do any strength training. It's just like there's different things going on in your, in your life and your mind is somewhere else and you can't put the determination into that one thing. You can't put the discipline into that one thing. Um, so the point that I want to make is um, if you miss a workout, okay, yeah, it's kind of a bummer um, and you, you're te you tend to feel bad, oh, I missed one, darn, and you, you can tend to beat yourself up about it, but I just say, okay, that was then, that was yesterday, if today I feel, if, I, if today I really feel it, then I'm going to do it. If you happen to take a couple weeks off or a couple months off, for whatever causes you to do that, when you do go back to it, and when you do feel that determination, and you're on level 10, give it that real level 10. But like, you know, on the days that you are feeling it mentally, like, give it your all. You know, don't play around with it, just give it your all. Um, like I said, I'm speaking from experience. I'm not like some massive guy, I'm not some big guy, I'm not like, a famous person or anything that like that but I speak as someone who has listened to a lot of people and been around the uh, strength training scene um, my whole life so just basically the point I'm trying to make is it's all about the long term if you have a bad day a bad week a bad month or even a whole year whenever your mind is back to the place where it should be and where you're feeling it like do it think about today is today and do it today you will have good days and you will have bad days um, and then the thing is uh, another thing is about the motivation aspect of it is uh, how bad do you want it like do you just want to be average health average strength do you want to just feel like and look like everybody else walking down the road or do you want you know something of a higher level when you have decided in your mind that you really want it bad um, stuff won't hold you back like if you're in a state of mind if you've never lifted before on any regular basis if you're in a state of mind where you're like now, it would be nice to work out, it would be nice to go to the gym, but you can't bring yourself to do it. 
then you're not mentally ready yet. Because the person who's mentally ready, like, they're just determined. And it's like, no, no excuse exists, nothing holds them back, they go. I mean, there was a period of time, in, like through my 20s, where I would come home from work, and I would feel so beat down, like, like all I wanted to do was fall back on a sofa and rest my whole body. But I always had this mentality back then that going to the gym is first, and then whatever time I have left in the day after that, doesn't matter, I can do whatever I decide, but the gym is first. I'm not going to a grocery store first, I'm not doing laundry first, the gym is first. And so there were days I would fall down on the couch and um, I would just lay there for 10, 15 minutes and I'd try to gather myself mental, mentally and I'd rest for 15 minutes and I was like, okay, when the clock gets on the four, when the clock's 20 minutes after, you got to jump up and you got to go and I would go. Uh, there was times when my shoulder would be hurt so bad that it would literally hurt to raise my arm and grab the steering wheel on my car to drive to the gym. I would have to uh, manipulate my arm a certain way to grab the steering wheel because if I just did it any way it would it would kind of bite. But then I would go to the gym and I would still push myself as hard as I can. Um, I just got done finishing nine days in a row of not lifting at all. So everybody goes through them little spells, like I said, spells where you're hot, you're on level 10, and you go through them spells where the motivation just ain't there. But just remember, you got to want it bad, you got to know why you want it, um, do it mostly for yourself. Don't do it with the main goal of hoping some female will look or hoping you'll impress someone, because that's not enough motivation to get you in there. You got to want to feel stronger and healthier and like you got to want it for you. And um, that's just basically the points that I wanted to cover. And um, yeah, I practice the same thing that I'm telling you now. I have bad moments where I'm cold for a week, a month, three months. And I have moments where I'm on fire for six months straight. And just don't let that get you down and just keep going at it. This is Eagle Wild. Thanks for watching.